Oh. Uh, Graham, what are we gonna we do? Are. We're so far behind. I have this, is it Boiler Works? Before you panic, I do get to scry from my <laughs> path of ancestry. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> You've made it up the hill and down the zip line and in to the Elder Dragon Social Club, where today I, Graham, am joined by our guests, Tarmocat. Hello. Rachel Weeks. Hello. And CGB, Covert Go Blue. And we will be inflicting, inviting them to participate <laughs> in the Wheel of Precons. But first, a quick reminder. Elder Dragon Social Club is brought to you by our good friends at Card Kingdom. Please check out cardkingdom.com slash E-D-S-C for all of your cardboard magic needs. Maybe you want to buy the decks we're about to play today or specific cards from those decks or cards for whatever decks you're putting together. If you head over to E-D-S-C, that lets Card Kingdom know that you like to watch this kind of commander stuff. And we hope you do because we like to make it. You can also check out store.loadingreadyrun.com for a variety of fun stuff, including the Elder Dragon Social Club sleeves by Dragon Shield, who are another sponsor of the show, and of course, this show and everything we do here at Loading Ready Run is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun, and we really appreciate it. But now, it's time to spin, and as is my right, because I stood here, I'm gonna go first. <laughs> here we go. Ow. <laughs> Here we go. Clap. You don't have to. Cool. I have no idea what I'm hoping for. Oh, oh. Oh. Arnie. Arcane Wizardry with Ooh. Inala Archmage Ritualist. An oldie. I, I don't know this deck. Is this, is this a good one? It, it's blue. It's got to be good. Oh. It's, it's the Eminence Commander, right? Is it uh -oh. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, cool. Well, great. Now with the power of whatever 1990s video transition Matt wants to use, it's someone else's turn. <laughs> nice. Cat, take it away. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Inferno. Kalia of, of the Vast. vast. Kalia Inala is a very scary Yeah, bottom. yeah, this is already <laughs> bad. Strong start. Now, I will say, what we've found on previous episodes is that, you know, some of the older commander decks that have this, uh, you know, mystique for being right. very powerful uh, don't necessarily stand toe to toe with some of the newer decks. Yeah, you know, it's... Uh, commander, the commander builds, like the decks themselves didn't quite have the synergy that they do now. Mm -hmm. So they're like, but the commanders are houses. Dude. Yeah, and all is <laughs> they can carry you. Yeah, but you could draw the wrong half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. All right, it's time for another excellent video transition. <laughs> Love that, Rachel. Take it away. So loud. It's so loud. <laughs> you gave it a good one. I it's did. wow. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> Okay. Really whipped it there. Yep. Sneak? Subjective no. reality with <gasps> Aminatu, Aminatu, the Fate Shifter. Oh I'm excited. Aminatu's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Very sweet. All right. We got one more transition in the hopper. Let's see it. <laughs> Love that. And CGB. Covert go blue? Maybe? Hopefully. Maybe? Please. Go <laughs> Let's find out. Oh. Get the, it is. Yes. Spirit Squadron oh with Millicent mm -hmm. Restless Ooh. Revenant. Ooh. All right. I'll take blue it. game. I'll this take is, it. I think, the most blue we've had in one <laughs> game. All right. Let's leave up, sit down, and play a game. We've done that. We've sleeved up. We're sitting down, and it's time to play. And I am here once again with Rachel, CGB, and Tarmacat. And I'm excited about it. I don't know what some of these commanders do. So, uh, Rachel, what, what do you got going on? I am playing the Aminatu the Fate Shifter Precon. This is a Planeswalker commander for white, blue, black, so it's Esper. And the first ability draws a card and puts a card from my hand on top of my library. A uh, little fate seal. The second one is exile another target permanent you own, then return it to the battlefield. So a little bit of blink. Okay. 
And if we get there, the minus six is choose left or right. Each player gains control of all non-land permanents other than Aminatu the face shifter controlled by the next player in the chosen direction. I've never seen that happen. Yeah, like I, have, spell, I have it does once. Not. It was terrible. Was it on spell table? Basically, everybody like picked up their lands and, and then just, just rotated yeah. seats. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was not great. It wow. was not on spell table, luckily. Oh, That's how we not to. All right. I'm playing Inala, Archmage Ritualist. Two blue, black, red for a 4-5 human wizard with eminence. Uh-oh. Eminence. Whenever another non-token wizard enters the battlefield under your control, if Inala Archmage Ritualist is in the command zone or on the battlefield, you may pay one. If you do create a token that is a copy of that wizard, the token gains haste, and then you exile it at the beginning of the next end step. Also, just as an added bonus, tap five untapped wizards you control. Target player loses seven life. Oh, very wizardy of what? Them. Yeah, wow. super wizardy. <laughs> it's, it's mystical powers to just like kill you. <laughs> they were like, you know what? This seems very blue red. We need something black in there, flavor wise. I bet a win con. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I am playing Melisant, Restless Revenant. Ghosts. Ghosts. I'm actually really excited to represent my favorite color combination, which is uh, blue-white, and represent the uh, spirit creature type. So this is a legendary 4-4 flyer, and the spell costs one less to cast for each spirit you control. Whenever Millicent, Restless Revenant, or another non-token spirit you control dies, or deals combat damage to a player, I create a 1-1 spirit creature token with flying. A lot of flyers. If I'm doing it right, there will be a great many flyers. When, Oops. So many. Was that whenever any non-token spirit mm. dies Another or deals combat spirit. damage? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, yeah. My planeswalker commander is doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna need some help. Gonna need some help against all these scary planeswalker and eminence thingies, but I'm down for it. I think the spirits are up to the challenge. All right. And Kat, what do you got? All right. I have... Kalia of the Vast, which I think many of you know by now. She is white, black, red, a legendary creature, human cleric with flying. Whenever Kalia of the Vast attacks an opponent, you may put an angel, demon, or dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking that opponent. Wait, that's where the sentence ends? Yeah. There's oh. no like... Oh, we're just done. It doesn't even sacrifice yeah, it at yeah, the end of turn. Scary enough. I, I think she's, I think that's enough. Well, I was <laughs> assuming there would be some sort oh, of like, yeah, yeah, and then the dragon hand. goes away or... Nope. That, no, nope. It, that's, no, that's the end. Wow, that <laughs> felt that felt like walking upstairs and there was like one less stair than you expect. That felt like a very abrupt end to that <laughs> clause. Okay, cool. Well, Cat uh, also rolled to go first, so mm -hmm. take it away. I did. <laughs> okay, how cheap do they make removal spells in pre these days? <laughs> I will draw. I will play a Baron Moore to start and pass the turn. All right, I will draw for turn. Then I'm gonna play a Dwar Isle Refuge. It'll enter tapped and I'll gain one life. All right. That's all I got, I'll pass. All right, I will draw for my turn. And I will play the most powerful turn one play in the history of magic, Island. <clears throat> Thanks for listening, go ahead. <laughs> I, 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 I understand, <laughs> respect. All right, draw for turn. I will play a Path of Ancestry tapped. I can tap it for any color of my commander's color identity, and I get to scry if I cast a creature that shares a type with it. Your turn. Spirit. Does your, does your deck have lots of spirits by any chance? Yeah. I, I feel like there might be some in there. Okay, it's good. just a feeling. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, who am I to talk? Like, my deck isn't just it's full of wizards. Teeming with wizards. Yeah. yeah. I will play a Mountain. I will tap and play a Lightning Greaves. Uh, I will uh. pass the turn. <laughs> this is a pre-con? Oh yeah. This is the scariest turn two Kalia mm -hmm. play by a mile. <laughs> 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 okay, I will untap, draw for turn. Yep, uh, and then I think I just play another tapped land and pass. All right, I'm gonna draw. I'll do you one better. I'm gonna tap this island Flow to blue mana uh. that just evaporates because oh. I'm playing an Is It Boilerworks and returning that island to my hand. Oh. Moon to discard. Ouch. Oh, I am, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, heck. Bounce lands. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I definitely have to discard, so I will discard this Terminate. Ooh. 
Oh. I, I mean, lightning grief, so I guess. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I feel like we need that terminate as I bad know, as I he would, does. I would really. It can stay there, it's fine. <laughs> Untap path, draw. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> oh. Sometimes you just draw a card and everything changes. I'm trying to think what could be in this pre -con. Is it a soul ring? It, it is. Did a, I win? It is known as a soul ring. Yeah, <laughs> oh, man, there it is. Oh boy. What do I win? Uh, you win an arcane signet. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what? And then I will tap the arcane signet and the path of ancestry to cast Ghostly Pilferer, which is a spirit rogue. And this is one of my favorites because uh, whenever it becomes untapped, I can pay two to draw a card. Soul Ring helps with that. And whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, like a command zone, oh, I draw no. a card. Oh, uh, Graham, what are we gonna do? We're so <laughs> I have this, is it Boiler Works? Before you panic, I do get to scry from my <laughs> path of ancestry. <laughs> oh. <Good>. Why? <laughs> I'll keep this card right on top. It's, oh no. It's, it's also quite good. We don't like that. All right, uh, Kat, go ahead. I will untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a Molten Slag Heap. Gross. I will <laughs> cast a Racto Signet, and I will pass the turn. I will untap and draw for turn. Well, I was gonna cast Aminatu, but I think... <laughs> We don't need to give CGB too many cards. I will play a planes and I'm gonna use them to cast a commander sphere. I'm okay with the strategy from the table being and, not casting their commanders. And I, I will pass. All right, untap and draw. I'm hoping that I can get some sort of artifact mana acceleration, but it doesn't look like that's the future laid out before me. You got a real impressive board over there. It's yeah, very it's nice. great. It's good. This yeah. has for two. It does, yeah. <laughs> I will put that island back out there, and then I'm going to tap Boilerworks for a Nivix Guild Mage. So it's a 2-2. Two -two. I could draw a card and discard a card, or I can copy an instant or sorcery spell. But also, because of the eminence of Inala, I can pay one and make a copy of it for this oh. turn, Ooh. and it gains okay. haste and exile the token at the beginning of the next end step. So I'm gonna attack someone with it because it has haste. Yeah. You have a blocker, so I'll attack Cat for two. I will take two. All right. That's my turn. This Nivix Guild Mage disappears again. Boy, it's a very boy. eminent move. Good job. Thank you. All right, <laughs> untap. So, so good. <laughs> Draw. I will play a planes. We'll use that soul ring and path of ancestry mana, and I'm going to cast Timon Youthful Geist. Timon. This is, yeah, four and a blue for a legendary spirit. It's a three, four. It partners with Rhoda Geist Avenger. I don't know what that does, so this is gonna be fun. Uh, it's a flyer, and at the beginning of each combat, I may tap up to one target creature. So. At the beginning of each combat? Each? At the beginning of each combat, tap up to one target each? creature. Not good. Oh, you guys have those two. Oh, oh my man. God. Not good. Uh, it's I, fine. Normally I love it's my own fine. combat step. <laughs> this is fine. Everything's fine. I have a Path of Ancestry trigger, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to search my library. I'm just curious if it's Rada. It's not. It's a very good card. It's getting shuffled away. That would be very impressive. Yeah. All right, I've searched for Rhoda Geist Avenger, and it's a three and a white for a three, three Vigilance. And whenever a creature and opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, I put a plus one, plus one counter on Rhoda. Oh my goodness. Now, mercifully, Rhoda doesn't go into play. It goes no. to your hand. Okay. It goes okay. into okay. hand. Ooh. Holy moly. If it isn't declared as an attacker. Yeah. So anytime he taps something with Timon, okay. Rhoda gets bigger. Little okay. Every Not combat. Good. Not good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cat, if I don't attack you with my ghostly pilfer, will you just not attack me with Kalia of the Vast? I, I cannot promise that. Well, I am sure. a, I'm not, I'm good, not yeah. very surprised. In that case, <laughs> uh, the wrath of this spirit rogue is upon you. Uh, it's a 2 1. Everyone's beating up on me. I will take the two. It's more Kalia than you. Don't worry, you'll she be beating up on them soon. She, she doesn't appreciate that either. I, I could. If I wanted to, I could tap this guild mage. I'm gonna, oh, 
don't want to be for now. Oh, okay. She, she won't be my oh. friend. Maybe we can. Maybe there's oh. hope for us. I Such don't like kindness. that. <laughs> Thank I, I don't like that. Yeah. Go ahead, Kat. All right, I will untap. I will play a swamp. I'm dying for some white mana right now. Oh, That's no. okay. Luckily, we are not dying as a yeah. result of you not having the white mana. So, you know, it all... <sighs> on balance, I'm enjoying it. I will tap to play a dragon whelp. Mm. It's a flying dragon. Um, I can use one red mana, and dragon whelp gets a plus one plus zero until end of turn. If this ability has been activated four or more times this turn, sack dragon whelp at the beginning of the next end step. Limited fire breathing. Yeah. If it gets too strong, then he he, he blows he up himself. Yeah. <laughs> That's a real bungle. Mm. It's a real dragon bungle. And I will equip him with oh, lightning yeah. greaves. Yeah. Some boots for a dragon. Yeah, fancy boots. And I will pass the turn. And he will remain untapped. I'm so jealous of those shoes right now. I will draw for turn. We were joking before we started of the, you know, the 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 meta karmic justice of this game that Cat had such a miserable time oh, yeah. getting I know. here. Right? Like flights delayed. I rolled a twelve. Delayed. Yeah. Your, your luggage is not with you, yeah. and then you know, and then the, the game is like you can go first. Yes, have some shoes. I know. You know? <laughs> I'm loving it. And, and now it's the, being like, but no white, but mana. no white. But I mana. do need some yeah. white mana. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, this doesn't seem super wise, but we'll see if the baby is the scariest thing on the board. I feel like I have to cast something. All right. It doesn't so. have to hurt the baby. Uh, I'm gonna cast Aminatu, the Fate Shifter. It's, it's a problem, child. Absolutely. That is a beautiful little ghost, ghost. baby. Speaking of ghosts, <laughs> ghostly pill for a trigger. Sure is. Nice. What? Oh, because you cast something from I not cast your it hand from exile. Oh. Uh, I think I'm gonna tick this baby up. Can I <laughs> right. use a doice? Uh, yeah. It's the battle of the babies here. Whoa, baby battle. That's sweet. Draw a card, then put a card back from the top of your library. Cool, I will draw this. What's a very small brainstorm? It's, you know, like a, it's like a flicker of an idea, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know a, what little, a, a little spark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brain spark. Brain spark. Brain spark. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then I'm going to play a Forge of Heroes as my land for turn. And I'm going to tap it to put an additional loyalty counter on Aminatu. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's yeah. handy. Right? Yeah. Choose target commander that entered the battlefield this turn. Yeah. Put a loyalty counter on the baby. That's a cool land. She's so loyal, this baby. Do they put strip mines in here? <laughs> it's only that entered this turn. You can only use it one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm still uh, I'm, I'm still very jealous. Uh, that is the best I've got. I'll pass to you, Graham. All right. Thanks. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Yeah, I'm sure that they put strip mine in one of the precons from like what Midnight Hunt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna play a basic swamp, and then I'm gonna tap these three mana for two blue, and play a Harbinger of the Tides. Ooh. It's a Merfolk wizard. When it enters the battlefield, I may return target tapped creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand, and I will use the red mana to make a copy of it for this turn, and. The first one is going to bounce the Ghostly Pilferer, and the other one has no target, I just realized, because it says tapped creature. Mm -hmm. Yep, just this, so I don't get to draw my card. Yeah, All it's right. too bad he didn't tap something for yeah. you. So that'll return to hand. So now I'm going to move to combat. So that is a trigger for Timon, the youthful mm -hmm. Geist. I should be upset with you right. for bouncing this thing, but I also understand that there are other players. No, no, you can. If you you're can not going to attack me, I won't tap anything. As long as they don't, they don't attack me. I won't tap your, one of your creatures. Okay, I won't attack you. All right. Oh, Proceed. I cool. don't like this deal making over here. I mean, he also has a three. He four. has a three he four. A three I four. have no he good attacks attack on him, him anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's very true. That's right. You have a two three. I can't attack you either. It's me. I'm the target, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't hurt my baby. <laughs> you can poke my baby. I'm like, I'm not going to guarantee that I will never attack Aminatu, but yeah. I am kind of interested to see what happens. Yeah. So I don't know that Aminatu is like a massive threat yet. Yeah. So I will attack you, you in the face for two. I appreciate it. My face, my face says thank you. <laughs> I'll take two. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, end of my turn. This copy goes away. 
Over to you. The guild mage is chilling, huh? Guild mage is just chilling. Guild mage is chilling. Okay. All right. I'll untap. My this partner a has one. an Aminatu uh, attractions deck, mm. and it's it's baby goes to the fair. <laughs> And you can blink all the things that ETB open attractions. It's actually really gross, but it's sweet. I'm going to play Exotic Orchard. Oh, yeah. Which makes all the colors I need. I got you. Thank you. Then let's recast our little friend, Ghostly Pilfer. Mm -hmm. I'm using mana from Path of Ancestry for a scry. See, I helped, really. Yeah. 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 You can thank Graham for that scry. CGB, thank Graham for that spin. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite a poker face you got I mean, going if on I there. keep it on top, did I really scry? Yeah, that's true. So, that's so, you You're know. You're not getting your full value. I, just, I don't just hand out thank yous for, you for only bouncing get, my thing. You, you only get value, value if you from the scry if you bottom it? Yeah, it's the only way to get value. Hmm. You didn't do anything otherwise. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. We're going to try this keep on top thing again. All right. You're absolutely rolling. All you cut did. my deck? You cut my deck? Yeah, I guess. I'll thank you for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you scry and keep on top, all you did was learn. Oh yeah, what? There's no value in that. Yeah. Let's go with four mana and cast the card we know. Uh, mm -hmm. Rhoda, Geist Avenger. So when things get tapped, I have to remember to put plus one, plus one counters on this as long as it's not for attacking. Mm -hmm. And then move to combat, where my Timon Youthful Geist will tap. Do, 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 do. Arbinger of the Tides. All right. That will put a plus one, plus one counter on Rhoda. Yeah, any color you like. Okay. Oh, oh, any. Yeah. Hold on. Get your blue one. Oh, yeah, you need a fancy blue. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And I will at least keep Aminatu in check. I'm going to attack Aminatu for three in the air with Timon. I cannot block it. She will go to two. And my oh, baby, baby will remember this. Poor She's baby. very young. Her brain is to, is very forming plastic, new right? memories. Yeah. You know, when what this is also a youthful geist, she, I feel like they still have a chance to repair <laughs> right, their it's, issues. It's just a playground. And <laughs> this is probably a meet cute. Years from now, they're going to be best friends. She is a ghost baby. All right, your turn. Two ghost babies hanging out. <laughs> I will untap. Up, keep draw. They met in the ghostly orphanage. Oh, God. <laughs> They're the ghosts drop off the kids before they go and haunt stuff. All right, I will play a swamp for turn. Then I will move to combat. I have a Timon trigger. I am going to tap my own ghostly pilfer. You can oh. do that? Tech, 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 Wait, tech, maybe tech. I can't. No, it's target creature. Oh. Uh, I can do Ooh. it. Okay. Fancy. Yeah, because I want to untap this and draw a card later. Nice. That's smart. I will tap a mountain and add plus one, plus zero to my dragon whelp. It's now a three, three flyer, and I'm gonna attack you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, it's that rare moment when no flying spirits are available. It's very handy. So I will take three. Taking advantage of it. And then I will pass the turn. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. Oh yeah, I put that there. I think I put that there so that maybe I wouldn't draw next turn. <laughs> hoping, Wishful hoping thinking. Draws. Yeah. Secret <laughs> mill. Maybe it'll disappear. Maybe something I don't will know. change. Maybe my deck will just shuffle itself. <laughs> no, I I got a, a big move now, so I'm gonna try it. Uh, I'm gonna play a planes as my land for turn, mm -hmm. and then I am going to cast an Akroma's Vengeance. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. What? Well, that's, I am that's a thing. Hold priority uh, because I have to, and I'm going to sacrifice this commander sphere to draw a card. Boo. Pass priority. <laughs> I was you know like, what? Wow, could this not be better? <laughs> you know, I think this is great. Blue for players? Me, yeah, yeah. You have I'm, anything for me? No. I got nothing. All right. Uh, yes, 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 uh, yes, yes. That's very sad. Uh, the it shoes, is the soul ring, the tappers. Oh, we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But importantly, I see this as a complete win. Yeah, yeah. Not my baby. I lost two wizards to that, and I'm like, great. Great. Yeah. yeah. No, that was perfect. Uh, baby time. I'm going to take her up to three. <laughs> and I'm gonna draw a card. Baby time. <laughs> baby time. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right. Um, <laughs> we're gonna put back. Uh, this, and that's it. 
All right, I'm gonna untap my much cleaner battlefield and draw for the turn. I'll play a basic island and I will play my commander. It's Inala, Archmage Ritualist, mm -hmm. because I have nothing better to do. It's not another baby, right? No more babies. She's a baby. Oh, we're all just babies in this big world. She's, I mean, she's certainly not like a, you know, like a wizened old beardy, like you imagine. She's a baby for a wizard, right? Fantasy wizard, yeah, probably. Yeah, a wizard baby. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There we go. So that's my whole turn. Go ahead. Okay, I'll untap my less things. I have less okay, things. Now, now we're just on our lands. We're yeah. all even. Exactly. The mono white way. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's balanced, except you have a baby. A baby. All right, I will tap four for a Breath of the Sleepless. This is an enchantment, and it says I may cast spirit spells as though they had flash. Oh! And whenever you cast a creature spell during an opponent's turn, you tap up to one target creature. So I'm just, I'm, I'm working on getting back up to my shenanigans because I liked them before they all got blown up, and uh, I will pass the turn. Mm. I will untap and draw. All right, I will play a Rupture Spire for land. Mm -hmm. And after that, I will play a Razor Jaw Oni. Cutie. Yeah, he's real that? cute. He has lots of teeth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he is a demon spirit and he's a four five and black creatures cannot block. What? Oh. Black right? creatures can't block? Yeah. Just globally. What? Wow, Why okay. And, All right. and that's what he does. <laughs> While he's being really cute. He's a baby too, look at him. He's, he's a little fish baby thing. I don't know. Help, fish baby. help my world enchantment is full of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that is my turn, I will pass. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. I'm gonna cast a black creature. Which that can't been, block. Which would have been a great blocker a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the reason that I need the tapper gone. It's Yenit, Cryptic Sovereign. Ooh, who the heck? Flying Vigilance Menace. And whenever she attacks, reveal the top card of your library. If that card's converted mana cost is odd, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. Otherwise, oh, wow. draw a card. Dang. That's very Yenit. bad for that's, us. That's the problem. Yeah. Yenit, Yenit, Yenit. But it can't block, right? Well... Yeah, we can still can't, take out the planeswalker. It can't block. So we're like, well, she's not even doing anything. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, it's baby time. Uh, I will draw a card and put one on back on top. I don't know, maybe this one. Yeah. Oop. Uh, and then I'm going to play a bounce land. It's an Azorius Chancery, and I'll return the Forge of Heroes to my hand. Prepare just to, in case there's a strip mine in that deck after <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll hit the Chancery now. Yeah, fine. there you go. I'll give you a better target. <laughs> I'll pass. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. All right, I'm gonna move to combat. You don't have a thing there anymore, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do combat. I'm gonna put a pause on baby time and attack <laughs> Aminatu no, with baby Anala. time! This is the right choice. This is the way. Yes, I Aminatu agree. Aminatu will agree. take four damage and will be sent back to daycare. <laughs> You put baby back in the corner. You put baby in a yeah. corner. Yeah, I, do. Yeah. I know. Specifically, the command zone corner. Yeah. I mean, this also had something to do with putting baby in a mm -hmm. corner. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to play another uh, creature that can't block. It's Bloodline Necromancer. Mm -hmm. Five mana for a 3 2 with lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, I may return target vampire or wizard, because it's a vampire Ooh. wizard, from my graveyard to the battlefield. So I'm going to get my Nivix Guild Mage back. Nice. And. That is going to be the turn. Bloodline Necromancer is a Good. weird card. Really? Yeah, vampire or wizard. Vampire wizard. Yeah. What a team. Yeah. Thanks for their wizardry. Uh, go ahead. All right. Untap. Draw. Hey, now I have a creature that can block. Not that it can block um, profitably. Or wait, the thing has menace as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm flying. It's no big deal. Vigilance. Don't Fine. worry. All the things. All the things. <laughs> so big. All right, I will tap three. I'm going to try this artifact mana thing again with an Azorius Locket mm. because I don't have lands. And then I'm done. That's it. That's it. All right, I will untap. All right, do I want to use my baby demon on somebody? <laughs> it's a four or five with gnashing teeth. Um, who will I gnash? Nobody has 
profitable blocks. I yes. say that because I fully can't block. Yes, I only no have blocks there, no blocks there. Yeah, I have a blocker, but it's that Nivix Guild Mage. So, who do I feel like hurting the most? You know what? You're still at forty. Yeah, I, I, am. I will gnash you with my Oni. Sounds great. I take four. Yes, you take four. Awful. I'm at thirty-six. And then I will cast Kalia. Oh boy. Of the vast. I forgot. I know. Oh, yeah. It's almost like I have a commander. And then I will pass the turn. All right. I will untap and I'll drop a turn. I can do a big thing. Uh huh. I don't think it will win the game, but it'll basically win the game. Sweet. I miss my baby. Um, <laughs> poor baby. <laughs> I am going to pay white, blue, black, and two. Two uh -oh. for commander tax, mm -hmm. and I'm going to recast Aminatu. Mm -hmm. All right, the baby's back. Yeah, that baby, baby come back. <laughs> that baby's back on the battlefield baby again. <laughs> I want my baby, baby back, back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to activate the baby. I'm going to tick her up. I will draw a card, and I will put one on top of my library. Okay. Cool thing, I have something that cares about the top of my library on the battlefield. Oh, right. Okay. That is cool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to combat. How mm -hmm. bad is the thing on top of your library? I mean, I put it there on purpose. Is it bad for me? Uh huh. I'm going to use the Breath of the Sleepless to flash in a Remorseful Cleric, uh -huh. a 2 1 cool. flying cleric, and I'm going to use the ability on Breath of the Sleepless to tap. What's this faces? This three five uh, Yenet, Menace? Cryptic Yenet. Yenet. Sovereign. You yeah, certainly should. We're going should. to tap that. It will be tapped. Well, thank you. Don't worry, thank I can't you. block anyway. I wasn't like that. I wasn't even worried about it. <laughs> you didn't have sinister plans. No, 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 no. I wasn't gonna, you know, try and do big moves here. Because I flashed in a spirit, I have a Path of Ancestry Scry trigger. Mm -hmm. And I finally found something to put on the bottom. Oh, is he scrying for real now? Yes, yes. Actually getting Actual value off scry the scry. Value. Yeah, I see, see? Now he's actually using it. That's how you play magic right. Mm. <laughs> um, okay, so my baby is exposed. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Yet again. Just Look at her. Out there in the world. Just hanging in the wind here. And doing scary things with your, like, secret commander of no, the deck. No, 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 I don't think. All right, I'm gonna play a the Forge of Heroes as my land for turn again. Mm -hmm. uh, Aminatu did enter the battlefield this turn, but I don't think one loyalty counter is going to matter. So I'm actually just gonna leave this mana untapped. Okay. And I will pass to you. Sounds good. Untap and draw. The big scary thing didn't happen. Nope. Okay. Stopped. All right. But I can't. Tends stop to happen it. when you have I blue can't players. Can't stop it every time. All right, I'm gonna play a basic mountain. And then I'm going to tap all of my mana. Uh oh. All six of it. Really, I'm tapping five mana and one extra for Inala. I'm going to play Haven Ghoul Lich. Ooh. So it's a 4 4, and then for one mana, I can cast a creature from a graveyard. And when I do that, then Haven Ghoul Lich gains all of those abilities. But oh. for now, I'm spending the one mana to make a copy of Haven Ghoul Lich with haste. Oh, Sweet. I, uh. So you get the the one from the graveyard, and you get to copy it for a turn. Uh, I think only if it's a no, because you copy the that. Oh yeah, actually, that's a good you point. Cast target creature in a graveyard when you cast that card. If I'm activating Haven Ghoul Lich on a future turn, and I cast a wizard from a graveyard, I'm not making a copy of it, and so. Inala would trigger because it's a non-token wizard entering the battlefield. But that's only if I do a wizard specifically. But I can gotcha. cast a creature from any graveyard. You got any? You got any spirit wizards? There was that. Uh, no, no wizards. I there is. I have my some well. pretty good. Good. There were good right. spirits. I liked them. I was a fan. Cool. F until they died, tragically. You could bring them back, give them a second life, a second second life. <laughs> <laughs> Again. All right, well, most of my stuff can't block anyway, so I'm just gonna windmill around the table mm -hmm. and uh, share the love. So I'm going to attack CGB with Inala. I will attack Cat with the Heaven Ghoul Lich copy that has haste, and I will attack Aminatu with my Bloodline Necromancer. Mm. Which is a 3 2, so I'm not killing Aminatu. Not quite. No. But you are hitting a baby. I am. <laughs> 
I, I, I just applaud. Wanna... How could you? Good job. How could you? Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. So, well, no I, blocks all around. I will take the four damage. I will take the damage. All right. I mean, out two will take the damage. <laughs> Go Great. to one. So I gained three because the Necromancer has lifelink. Mm -hmm. So I'm up at 39. And that's four commander damage from Inala to CGB. Not that it's usually not relevant on this show. You win with wit but... combat damage with Inala. I will be deeply impressed. <laughs> that's definitely not how this deck is supposed <laughs> to win, yeah. And at the end of my turn, the copy goes away. Go ahead. Untap and draw. How many spirits you got? You got a few um, things to tap. There, there might be a spirit or two, but there's a lot of tapping that might mm -hmm. be required the way this game is going. Uh, I'm still afraid of how bad bad could be. So Remorseful Cleric is going to attack Da Baby. Oh, um, not Baby, too. she's had a bad day. Hip hop uh, recording artist Da Baby. Yes. <laughs> I, I. Yes. Where? I'm calling out Da Baby. <laughs> you challenged me to a, a, a Remorseful Cleric rap battle. Let's go. Well, I unfortunately do not have a blocker anymore, so Aminatu will take lethal damage and return to the corner from whence she came. After that, feeling accomplished and totally not having anything to do, I'm going to pass the turn. Doesn't he feel remorseful for killing the baby? It is a remorseful cleric in, in every way. I will untap and draw. When the cleric starts feeling good, yeah. he has to do stuff to be like, no, no. No, 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 I'm a sad man. Yeah, I gotta, Ghost. gotta go make myself be sad somehow. Yeah. I know, I'll go hit the go, baby. I'll go hit the baby. <laughs> See, that sounds like you're smoking it. <laughs> that does not sound good. <laughs> Nightmare baby rotation. <laughs> you wanna hit the baby? Yeah, all right, I'll hit the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yes. I will play a swamp for turn. I will um, enchant Kalia with mm. Bow of Lightning. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, has first strike, and can't attack you or a planeswalker to control. I do not plan to attack myself, so that mm -hmm. should be okay. So Kalia is now a 4-4 four, four mm -hmm. with first strike. I'm really hoping you don't plan to attack me because I'd hate to have to tap it. I prefer <laughs> to tap something else. So are you? Mm. Are you? Do, do I? Do I register as a problem right I'm now? A hard bargain. I, mean, I, you, I know you don't like my blueness. You you won't know. You'll have to tap it or not, and I'm, then find I'm out. I'm asking about intention. She doesn't have to answer. Okay. He's trying to do a politics. I know he's doing a real politic over there. I will gnash at Rachel with my oni, mm -hmm. and I will swing at Graham with Kalia. <clears throat> Is Kalia gonna do a thing? Do you have something to put into play from your hand? Oh, I don't, no. Okay. Sorry, I should oh. have announced that when I was oh. saying. No, it's oh. very sad, I don't. Sad? Yeah, so sad. Okay, so let me go back and- No, I, we're super sad. <laughs> really sad about it. Sadly, I cannot cast anything else from my hand with Kalia, but she's still gonna swing at you. Ooh. <gasps> okay. That's fine, I'll take, what was it, four? Yes. Five, what am I taking? Four. Great. Cheers, I would go to 35 happily. And that's commander damage. It sure is. Sure is. Okay, well. Are you taking four as well? Oh, yeah, sure right. am. I'm being gnashed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I will pass the turn. I will say I love the different verbs for how things attack. <laughs> you ever heard a creature uh, crundle into the red zone? <laughs> crundle? <laughs> oh yeah, there's a couple creatures we've, we've had that with, yeah. So uh, <laughs> really, really like crusty looking artifacts, you know? Just crundle on over there. <laughs> I figure my remorseful cleric is the Eeyore of combat. Just, okay, why bother? Just <laughs> mopes into the red zone? Uh, mopes into the red zone. Yeah, remorseful cleric's gonna mope on over there and Shamble. into the sky. Two. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. No, never one more depressed to fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, on your end step, cat, I'm going to tell time. Oh. We're gonna look at the clock, we're gonna see what time it is. So I look at the top three cards in my library. One goes on the bottom, one goes into my hand, and one goes on top. Uh, we're going to put this on the bottom. We'll put this one on top. Uh, and this one goes on the bottom. Great, we've done it. Time has been told. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. Oh, the card I drew, it's a miracle. Oh, oh it is. Oh my it's gosh. a miracle. I didn't just put it there. Put target artifact, creature, or enchantment on the bottom of its owner's library. Oh, I have a guess as to what you might target. 
Yeah, what is the target? Is that the is it CGB's flashy thing? I think it might be. That was my thought, but I, I don't think know. I think just, it might be for me. foiling my plans. That's all I have. I will target your breath of the sleepless. Rachel. Yeah. You're trying to take my breath away. Oh, I sure am. Don't, I'm, don't. I'm trying to banish your breath. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> we make more music references it, on this show. This is worse than that love scene in Top Gun. Uh, all right. Uh, I have to flash some stuff in before uh -huh. it goes away. And I will flash in a Supreme Phantom. This yeah. is a two mana one three that gives all other spirits plus one plus one and it mm -hmm. has flying. That's good. That will enter and tap Yevette. Yenet. 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 <laughs> it will be tapped. And then I'll use the rest of my mana before I lose my flashy skills. And I will play a Spectral Shepherd. This is a three mana 2-2 two -two flyer spirit, and it returns target spirit you control to its owner's hand for one and a blue. Mm. I get a Scry Trigger from Path of Ancestry. Does he have any sheep with him? He has like a little... Skeleton sheep. Yeah, he's got like he's got ghost sheep. That's he's so got ghost cute. ghost goats. Whoa. They're so cute. Yeah, see? Oh. They could be anything. Those could be ghost dogs. <laughs> I mean, like, that do you... one's probably a dog. He, but, like... He's got a, a herding oh, dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, with the one with horns? Yeah. That, that's probably not a dog. You're right. <laughs> I mean, a demon dog. I've never, never been know. to Innistrad. It could be. Yeah. Let's keep that lovely card on top. What happens to my Breath of the Sleepless? It is talked. You put it on the bottom of your library. Mm. It's taken away. Bum, 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 bum. Rachel, make me mad. <laughs> well, I haven't gotten to attack with this yen at once, so your breath sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna play Scoured Barons and I will gain one life when it enters the battlefield. And then, I will pass. Alrighty, I'm gonna untap all of my stuff and I will draw for the turn. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, good. Never a good sound. Wild, okay, sure. Okay, I'm going to tap red and blue and black and another one for Marchesa, the Black Rose. Whoa. Did you know she was a wizard? I assumed she was a noble, but apparently she's a wizard. There weren't nobles back then. Yeah. They just made them wizards. She's, cool. She's multi-talented. So she, she has- She got elected. She must be a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> she has dethrone and other creatures you control have dethrone. Throne is whenever it attacks the player with the most life or tied for the most life, you put a plus one plus one counter on it. And then whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it dies, return that creature to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. Dang. Sounds real How do good. I lose some life real quick. Uh, um, Mana burn. <laughs> quickly. I'm not going to make a copy of Marchesa because Marchesa is legendary, and that would be foolish. <laughs> But now all my creatures have dethroned and they can't block anything else. <laughs> oh. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make all my creatures huge. I'm gonna move to combat. Could yeah, be me. I'd do something, but I don't have the means anymore. Oh, it's fine. I'm going to do a big attack on Rachel. Oh, no. Somehow I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm just going to attack My Rachel. My life with... total somehow is the highest. It's because of the baby. It's because the baby's taking the hit. She has. Yep. So because they are all attacking Rachel, they all get a plus one, plus one counter. Well, let me know if you have anything else to do before damage. I am going to try to do something before blocks. Okay. Oh, no. I'm going to pay four mana, mm -hmm. and I'm going to cast Aether Mage's Touch. Ooh. Let's see what happens. I reveal the top four cards in my library. You may put a creature card from among those onto the battlefield. It gains at the beginning of your end step. Return this creature to its owner's hand. Then put the rest of the cards you revealed this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. Uh, oh, in any order, excuse me. So we'll see. I have to get a creature, okay. which is the first problem. I also have to get a creature that isn't black, which is the second problem. Right. <laughs> so let's see. We're going to reveal a uh, land, a uh, brainstorm, 
Oh, and Enigma Sphinx. Uh, <laughs> That's black. And a planes. Oh my goodness. We did get a creature. Unfortunately, it's black. It cannot block. <laughs> but, you know, at least so, it's there. But right? it's here. And it's not uh, a cast, right? It is not a cast. So you don't so get So I do not cascade. get the cascade. But it will go back to my hand at the end of my end step. Okay. So these go on the bottom. Oh, in any order. Hang on. Yeah, you get to actually look. Hang on. <laughs> Gotta put them in I'm the right order. I'm guessing it's gonna be ordered Brainstorm Dual Land Planes. Mm, you're wrong. Oh. It's brainstorm Untapped Land. <laughs> oh, dual that, land. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, fair enough. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, this cannot block. How much am I taking, Graham? Uh, that's a great question. I didn't even do that math. 5, 10, 13, <laughs> 17. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. I feel good. 17. Yeah. Hit me. So that's... I mean, you already did. Five of that was commander damage from Inala, and Oof. I gain four life from the Necromancer. Pretty good. Ouch. Man, this this little <laughs> Nasher is doing so much work. My Nasher is so really much doing work. a lot of work. Pretty good. Yeah, it's all the teeth. Okay. That's my turn. Go ahead. Untap. Things are getting scary out there. Well, I can't do that again unless I lose a lot of life because I currently have the throne. Yeah. In terms of highest yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need so to like... I need to lose a life really fast. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to cast my commander. I'll tap four because it's reduced by three for the spirits I control to cast Millicent, Restless Revenant. And now I've got that four, four flyer. And when I damage my opponents with other spirits, I make spirits, which is fun. Sweet. I will respond and I will cast a Mortify Ooh. and I will destroy your Millicent. Oh, she is so embarrassed she died. <laughs> just, I'm just. <laughs> Mortified. Mortified. I'm mortified. You <laughs> hate spirits. I do. With all uh, these things. I do hate spirits. I think she hates and, flyers. Yes. And yet, she's got the spirit. Oh. But, uh, okay. <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah. Oh. I'm done. <laughs> You're not gonna attack? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, your turn. Go all ahead. Right, Just... All right. I will untap. <laughs> oh, when Millicent died, you get a you get a spirit, right? Yeah, you get one yeah. spirit. It's not all downside, mostly downside, you but don't you have know. to be completely mortified, right? One spirit. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's you. less cool. <laughs> it's so less cool. <laughs> one is the same as three. It's the door price that keeps on giving. <laughs> it's still... That is not how door prizes work. Correct. It, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go in the door and out of the door and in the door and out of the door. Oh, it's a $5 gift card to Starbucks. Great. <laughs> Thank you. That'll get you like half a drink, right? Yeah. yeah what is this? A, a Chump Kalia coupon. Mm. Yeah, exactly, yeah. All right. I'm going to move to combat. Yeah. I will attack Rachel with my Oni because I love to Nash Rachel. And yeah. I will attack Graham with Kalia. Uh huh. And that will bring my oh no. another Oni. Whoa. Whoa. Oni of Wild Places. It's a creature demon spirit with haste, 6-5. At the beginning of your upkeep, return a red creature you control to its owner's hand. Oh, huh. interesting. Okay. And so. so I will swing at you with my six as well. That is 10 damage. Oh. I, I cannot block the Oni, so or the, the gnashing. The other one. Oni. Yeah. I got two Onis. And I can't block with Marchesa because your other Oni says that I yeah. can't. So yeah. I take 10, four of which is commander damage. Okay. Yes, that's correct. I go to 29. And I take four going to 15. And that is my turn. All right, on your end step, I am going to cycle this secluded step to draw another card. Interesting, what do you do? All right, then I will untap and draw for turn. Does the big scary thing you tried to do before blow up a lot of stuff? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play planes as my land for turn. I no longer have to, this is so bad right now. You know how commander games get to like a precipice? Mm -hmm. And then it just sort of like, Stays there. Barrels towards the end game after yeah. you just after you crest it, yeah. right? I feel like we're we're just about there. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we're at like the top of the roller coaster, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is get our baby back. Baby back. <laughs> baby back. Baby back. 
We will recast the baby. This is the third time I've cast the baby from the command zone. Uh, we are gonna tick her up to four and I will draw a card and I will put a card on top. This would have been a little better if I had done it many turns ago, but let's do it here instead. Uh, first, I'm gonna go to combat mm -hmm. and I am going to attack. If you attack me, I won't block. I know, you just don't want to get hit with all this. Correct. Yeah, I need you to be high. <laughs> <laughs> My creatures can't block anyway, so I might as well attack with them. I am going to send both Yennet and the Enigma Sphinx at you, Graham. Okay. Eight in the air. Well, I can't do anything about that, so I take eight and go to 21. Uh, I have an attack trigger on Yennet. Oh, whoops. When I attack, I reveal the top card of my library. What could it be? I just put it there. Ooh. A skull storm. Skull storm. This would have been better a few turns ago, but it's still pretty sweet what now. Does skull storm oh, do. When I cast this spell, copy it for each time you've cast your commander from the command zone this game. I have cast Aminatu three times this game, which means I get three additional copies of Skull Storm. So there are four oh Skull gosh. Storms on, on the, the stack. stack right now. What does a Skull Storm do? Oh, let's find out. Uh, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Each opponent who can't loses half their life total rounded oh up. Oh my gosh. Graham, this is fairly good for you, uh, which is, is why there are Sphinxes coming your way. <laughs> yeah, this is honestly kind of awesome for me. Comparatively. All Everybody right. sacrifices one to satisfy the first storm. All right, I will sacrifice my Nivix Guild Mage. Now, Marchesa says, whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. Mm-hmm. Neat. All right. Neat. Handy. Uh, I will sacrifice a spirit token. I will sack my first Oni. All right, the first storm has been satisfied. The second! Uh, Cloudy with a chance of storm. I will sack Bloodline Necromancer. I will sack Spectral Shepherd. I'll sack my other Oni. It's <laughs> been a storm about Oni skulls. All right, and the third! I will sack Haven Ghoul Lich. I will sack Supreme Phantom. I will sack Kalia. All right, there is one final skull storm. I think now is a good time to flash in a spectral sailor. A <laughs> one a one. Good time, isn't oh, it? A one one spirit flash. pirate with flash, and I will scry because of path of ancestry. Mm -hmm. Let's see, is this something that rebuilds my board and casts my commander for free? Yeah, totally is. I'm gonna put it on top. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've got another creature to sack. I do. I will sacrifice Inala to the graveyard. I will sacrifice Spectral Sailor. And you are out uh, of creatures. I will sack nothing and I can't bring anything in, so I will take half my life. All right, that was pretty good Skull Storm. That feels that pretty was. good. People aren't gonna like the baby after this, so I guess we'll, we'll buffer up a little we bit. We never liked the baby. I will put a loyal, no, the baby's great. Everybody loves the baby pass. <laughs> so, end step trigger. Well, I've got four of them, really. Because it's whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it dies, return it to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. So uh, I have a whole bunch of triggers on the stack to bring these creatures back. And those creatures are definitely going to hurt me because I'm at the highest life total. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, I have to do it. I'm going to sacrifice Remorseful Cleric and I'm going to exile all the cards from Graham's graveyard. Uh -huh. Bummer. Blow up that yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. So Inala will go back to the command zone at least, mm -hmm. but the rest of them get exiled. The queen stands alone. Yeah. All right, and at my end step, Enigma Sphinx returns to my hand from the Aether Mage's touch trigger. Okay. All right, that's uh, that, this is pretty good. Okay, I will untap and draw. Okay, I'm gonna tap a black and two and a fourth for a corpse auger. Mm. which is a zombie wizard learning about, they just threw <laughs> wizard wizards around. Wizards are all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. They're very diverse. So 4-2, and when it dies, I draw X cards and lose X life, where X is the number of creature cards in target player's graveyard. Ooh. Mm. I'm going to pay one for Inala's Eminence trigger mm -hmm. to make a copy of Corpse Augur. Seems fair. And then I'm gonna move to combat. And I'm going to attack CGB with Marchesa, and I'm actually gonna attack uh, I'll attack the baby with mm. this copy because, frankly, frankly, 
because I want you to block. Oh, so Martesa gets a counter because she has dethrone and CGB has the highest life total. So that's four damage coming your way. And yep. this is a four two coming at you. But hey, creatures can block again. So I, I'm delighted they can. I, I'm going to protect the baby this time and I will put Yenet in front of the copy. That sounds great. But that's so many cards. I'm how many? So how many creatures do you have? Uh, a lot. One, two, oh God, so three, many. four, I it was way five, fewer than six, that. seven. Seven. I mean, huh? I am going to fourteen with this. Yeah, it is a ton of life. Yeah. So I mean, maybe and you're on one, two, this, three, four, five, six lands. Yeah, this or might. Six mana? This might just kill me, but I need some more mana. So let's find yeah, out together. I I think I still block. <laughs> We'll figure it out. It'll be yeah. fine. I'm not. Yeah, it'll it's be fine. It's fine. Seven seven cards is nothing. Yeah, I'd take them. All right. <laughs> so this dies. I will draw seven cards and lose seven life, and you'll take four. Yep. Damage from Marchesa. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Well, I wanted mana, and so we have that now. So I'm going to play. An island, and I'm gonna tap both of those for a Felwar stone, mm -hmm. and then I think I have to discard, sure do. and I do, but I only have to discard two cards, so that's not so bad. All right, I'm gonna to move to the end of my turn, and I'm going to discard a Path of Ancestry and a Mercurial Chemister, mm. which was our first ever preview card. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, Aww, nostalgic. And yeah, that's it. Go ahead. All right, untap and draw. Mm. A rapid and catastrophic decline. That's what Skullstorm says. Uh -huh. I mean, that's, it's accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. that's, that's essentially what yeah. happened to my board Factual. and my life. We'll tap these three. I'll cast Drog Skull Captain. Oh, nice. 2-2 two, two Flyer that all my other spirits mm -hmm. get plus one, plus one and have hex proof. And I will scry with Path of Ancestry. And I will keep that card on the top, and then I'm done. And before the end of your turn, I'm going to get some more mana. I'm going to tap to put a storage counter on my slag heap. There you go. Thank you. Then Just I a will... heap of slag. I know. There. I know. It's very slaggy. I will untap. Whenever I see molten slag heap, all I can think about is Sudbury, which is a <laughs> town in Canada where they... Have slag? Fa yeah, famously, it's they. Like a slag they, they make Well, they have a nickel mine, and they have a giant, uh, like, statue, I guess, of a of a nickel, like our five cent coin. They have a <laughs> giant nickel there, and you can watch them dump slag from the from the nickel refinery. Oh. It's like a you know, like, oh, let's go, let's go watch them dump, dump slag at the nickel mine. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like, hey, what was like trip? Sudbury, <laughs> love it. Is Sudbury canonically Rakdos? I mean, it's, <laughs> you get the mental image, or not mental image, you get the actual image of just like molten <laughs> yeah, nickel molten slag, slag tumbling yeah, right? down a hillside yeah, so with a giant, with a giant coin at the top of it, yeah. Is this is in right. Kansas, is it? No, this is in Canada. Canada? Oh, Canada, yeah. oh. Do you think a zombie wizard became a wizard before or after it was a zombie? That's a great question. Did he go back to school? I, I like the idea that someone's like, oh, I'm a zombie now? I've got so much time I've to learn so new time. things. I might you know well what? Go, go to I'm gonna go back to school. I've always wanted to become a wizard. Yeah. In our class, we have an extended learning student with us. <laughs> <laughs> Seen a lot, brains. done a lot. <sighs> yeah. Molding brains. All right, well. You skull stormed me pretty bad last time, so I will tap six mana and recast Kalia. She's back. She's back. Okie dokie. And I will pass the turn. Two two Flyers Club. Nice. All right. That's right. The side, the side looking uh, two two and flying. Draw for turn. I'm going to activate the baby, and I'm going to draw a card and put card on top. Activate the baby. Act activate baby. Ac activating baby. Yeah. I, I'm baby. I'm going to go to combat, and I just gave you a lot of cards, Graham. I'm going to send a 3-5 flyer your way. Well. I have an attack trigger. Yep. Mm -hmm. I am going to reveal the card I just put here. It's Enigma Sphinx. Oh, right. Oh, what could it be? Here. Uh, it has Cascade, and I do cast it, right? Yep. Yeah, I do cast it with Yenit, so it means I do get the Cascade this time. Oh, boy. So let's go. It's Geode Golem. <laughs> Look, I'm okay with a 5-3 Trample, and this baby is expensive. 
What's the rest of the text? Uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast your commander from the command zone, and it does a 5-3 oh, trample. Okay. That seems real good. Uh, okay. Three damage coming in the air. Yeah, I can't stop that, so I go to 11. Uh, I'll pay four for a Conundrum Sphinx. Oh, so yeah. a lot of Sphinxes in this deck. Uh, this is when it attacks, each player chooses a card name. Then each player reveals the top card of their library. If the card a player revealed has the name they chose, that player puts it into their hand. Oh, God. If oh. it doesn't, that player puts it on the bottom of their library. Um, I mean, CGB is scrying all the time. But yeah, it seems it's, like it's you're, possible. Seems like you're favored to do that correctly, yeah. I could get a card out of being attacked. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm going to put a planes into play, and that is my turn. I will pass. All right. Untap and draw. All right, I'm going to make a couple people at this table very sad. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Yep. Oh, no. Memory plunder. Uh-oh. You may cast target instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard <laughs> without paying its mana stock. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'd like to cast Skull Storm. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, how many copies is it going to make in just, this case, though? Uh, just just one? one. One additional copy. So there so, uh, is two, two Skull Storms. Oh, oh my well, God. I'm. This is bad. Yeah. The weather is not letting up. Um. <laughs> so, CGB. Yo. Uh, could you, you want to sack a creature? Or yeah, just... I'll, I'm gonna sack a creature. All right. Cat, I'm sorry. I will, I will, I will sack a creature. All right. Yeah, I'll do it. Rachel? Um, I'm gonna sacrifice the uh, geode golem. You have plenty to choose from. I got, right. yeah, I got choices. Not the worst. Second whip around the table. I would like to sacrifice a creature. Can you? No. no. <laughs> All right. So you lose half your life. Is it rounded up? Yeah. What's the rounding? Rounded up. Oh, yeah. So you go to 14. Not the highest life total now, though. I really hate storms this week. <laughs> really. Storms are bad. All right. Okay. I would also like to sack a creature. I cannot. So I will go down to eight. Uh, and I have to sacrifice a creature. I think it's going to be the Enigma Sphinx. Uh, because when it is put into my graveyard from the battlefield, I put it into my library third from the top. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's going to be right here. Pretty cool. All right. So Skullstorm goes back to your graveyard. Mm -hmm. Memory of Plunder goes to mine. Does it exile it? No. Nope. Sure doesn't. Sure doesn't. Oh, so we can do it later. Oh my gosh. There are... No. No. No more storms. No Weather more looks storms. like skulls. <laughs> yeah. Might have to do something about Amara too. Uh, then I'm going to tap the Boilerworks and the Felwar Stone for a black mana to cast Crocus's Charm. Mm. Uh, choosing the mode, return target permanent to its owner's hand. I would like to bounce Yenit, please. Bouncing Yenit. Yes. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan. will be bounced. All right. I think it's had enough time in the sun. Sure yeah. has. And then I'm going to move to combat. Mm -hmm. Suddenly I'm the highest again. <laughs> Yeah. How'd this happen? Yeah, weird, eh? So I'm going to attack uh, you with Marchesa, mm -hmm. who gets a counter, and Amanatu, I'm going to attack with the Corpse Auger, who doesn't get a counter because Dethrone only works for players. Okay. So, baby can't okay. alt anymore. Uh, yeah. I, I'm trying to keep baby yeah, from yeah. going ham. <laughs> from, <laughs> for me, from that would, alting would be great at the moment. No blocks. Okay. So baby uh, goes to two and you take five? Uh, four oh, damage. Oh, I'm sorry. I am going to swap Marchesa with <gasps> a wizard. Swap. More babies! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, I'm gonna give you a new baby. Oh. <laughs> so I'm so gonna exile babies. target Marchesa and yeah. you get a one one colorless shapeshifter creature token instead, which is what oh. you wanted. For sure. Yeah, that's definitely it is a little baby. Look how cute he is. Aww. Why is your deck all about babies? <laughs> Baby deck. It's creepy babies. Babies and sphinxes. <laughs> all right. Cool. What a strange looking token. Uh, Aminatu takes two damage, or four damage, and goes to two. I'm going to play a Crumbling Necropolis, enters tapped, and I'm going to pass it over to CGB. I see that. What, the shape shifter? Is... It's, it's great. <laughs> He's looking at his tummy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the little, little pot belly. All right. I'll untap. I'll draw for turn. I think it's a good idea to play a spirit. Because that's what I'm here for. <laughs> yeah. I've got spirit. Yes, so you do. Kind of spirit we this love time. we love spirit. It's a mirror entity. Oh, oh, oh that is a spirit. 
Because it is a changeling, I will scry with my path of ancestry. Changing looks an awful lot like a spirit. And I see only a spirit. Mm -hmm. Mine looks more wizardy. Yeah. 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 I love his hat. Something, something about I like his little earring and his feather. He's, he's fancy. Yeah. He's got drip. I like how you he's, know, he's like got swag. Vest, necklace, no shirt. And, and belly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got to uh, showcase the belly, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they look like friends, right? Oh, yeah. Could, they totally hang out. All shapeshifters look this way until they don't want to anymore. Mm. Yep. All right. Explains why they're shapeshifters, all probably. That, <laughs> all shapeshifters look the same. It's like <laughs> they fundamentally don't. <laughs> That's a defining characteristic. On that note, da -da 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 -da, your turn. All right. I will untap. Mm, I think I'll make things interesting. Oh. Mm -hmm. Bassandra Battle Seraph. Oh. It oh, has yeah. flying, Bassandra. and players cannot cast spells during combat. Ooh, fun. Just to, you know, mix it up for y'all blue players over there. Target creature attacks this turn yes. if possible. Okay. I will pass the turn. Okay. Uh, on your end step, I'm going to cycle this lonely sandbar. Uh, all right. I will untap and draw for turn. So if I'm counting correctly, that, that is the Sphinx. is the Sphinx. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Luckily Do I you... remember what it's called? <laughs> Luckily you have no way to adjust or influence the top card of your library. We should just be grateful she's not casting it for free this yeah, time. Yeah, I'm not casting it for free. Yeah. I am going to go to combat. Okay. I will attack you once again, Graham, with the Sphinx. Right. has an attack trigger. So what happens, everyone names a card? Everyone names a card. All right. If and it's on be... top of your deck, you get to draw it. Okay. All right. I'm not sure if this is the name of it. I think it's Enigma Sphinx. All right, let's see. Go for it. All right. It is! Oh. I will draw it. All right. I have no idea what's in this deck, certainly not what's on the top of the library. So going from pure statistics, I'm going Swamp? Yeah. Oh. Put that on the bottom. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. All right. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm going to name Boreas Charger. What? I, oh, you scribed. scribed. I yeah. think that's the name of it. Oh my God. Yay. Well I, do we need to, the, the, I was hoping we would have a Jeopardy moment. We need yeah. to ask the judges. <laughs> it's like, like, you got a syllable yeah. wrong. Boreas okay. Charger, you got well it. Well done. All right. I'm going to optimistically name planes. Great idea. It could be. No! Oh, my gosh. Okay, bottom of my life. Bottom. Right? I mean, it's a good scry. That's yeah. a good scry. Well, now, you might, uh, now you might draw the planes. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Okay. All right. Uh, I think I am just going to recast this Enigma Sphinx. Oh, I take four, by the way. Oh, you take four. Yeah, because of combat. Yeah. Which I did. Uh, Cascade. It's a Mind Stone. Cool. Okay. Uh, we'll take them. Is everything in that deck cycle? <laughs> I, apparently. <laughs> We're definitely getting a lot of selection here. Uh, I haven't played a land for turn. I'm going to play an island. Okay. And then I am going to use it to recast Yana. All right. Uh, then we baby. Seen the same three or four cards in your deck over and over again. Uh -huh. <laughs> Having deja vu. I know. Well, they're all sphinxes, so they're they're doing uh, sphinxes and babies. Sphinx things. Ooh. Sphinges. I am going to put this card on top of my library, All right. and I will pass it. I will untap and draw. So what if I did something really mean? I we are in mean uh, mean zone of yeah. the game. <laughs> I mean, but the, it doesn't the time just has hurt passed. them. <laughs> you did some real mean things already. That's true. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna cast Cold Storm again? <laughs> no, please do not. So I've no got more storms. Kess, Dissident Mage. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is. During each of your turns, you may cast an instant or sorcery from your graveyard if a no. card. No. Now it does get exiled though. So. Uh, is it? One last time. Seriously? <laughs> no. The freaking storm. There's a few other things, but not much. <laughs> so. Um, first of all, I have to decide if I'm going to make a copy of Kess, this legendary creature. I yeah. shouldn't do that. That would be bad. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna cast memory plunder. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I can't. No, targeting, I just targeting skull stuff. Uh, <laughs> freaking deja vu. Oh. My head. <laughs> okay, Skullstorm. <laughs> so there's two copies of Skullstorm. <laughs> there sure are. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. my god. That's awful. I will sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it is it's one of the worst things I've ever done All right. in, in Commander. I, all right. I sacrifice your entity. I will sacrifice a Conundrum Sphinx right. and second go Skullstorm. Go around again. Down to yeah. seven. Down to seven. I will go to four. Down to four. Uh, what should I keep here? I think I, I think I do the Enigma Sphinx thing again. I will sacrifice the Enigma Sphinx, and it will go third from the top. Yeah, unfortunately, Skullstorm is not very good against you right now, I which know. is really funny. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that freaking I can't card. You had it. Okay. Why not? I. I just die next turn, don't I? Sure. Uh, right? it's only three. I mean, I, 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 you keep wiping my board. I can't, I can't keep. I have to keep sphinxes on the board to kill you. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm, I am at four. That's true. I could fully just eliminate a player and <laughs> put you, cat you out can of do her, that. Yeah. <laughs> put cat out, out, out of my misery no, at this misery point. Never no more planes. storms, please. Yeah. Just, just kill me now. It is remains unexiled, unfortunately. <laughs> I got hit by lots of skulls today. Can't believe memory plunder me doesn't exile. Right? That's wild. Isn't that weird? It is exiled now, so yeah. I can't do memory plunder again. Again. Yeah. So you know that's. You'll just have to find another way. That's mm -hmm. good news for everyone, I suppose. All right. Well, then I will just move to combat, and I will attack CGB with this one-one shapeshifter and cat. I'll attack you with corpse auger. All right. I'm I'm put out of my misery. <sighs> I'll go down to six. All right. Oh. I will play a Terramorphic Expanse and pass the turn. Let's untap and draw. Terrible. <laughs> Freaking skull <laughs> This storm. nine mana sorcery has been cast mm -mm. three times in this game yep. and copied seven, seven. eight yeah. copies. Oh my gosh, too many. Gross. Six yeah. <laughs> is not much. There is, yeah, skulls all over the lawn. We ran like four inches of skulls last night. Yeah. So many skulls. How do you get to work? I don't know. I'm gonna crack my Terramorphic Expanse uh, on your turn just to save time. I'm gonna go look for a swamp. So I could blow up all this stuff. What? But I, I could be persuaded not to if you'd each agree not to attack me for one turn, and then you'd have a chance to take each other out. <laughs> That's my offer. Uh, if you each agree not to attack me for one turn, I won't blow up things from your boards right now. What do you mean by all this stuff? Yeah. Uh, one thing would survive. It would be a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> um, you know, well, not, not to my, name names or as, anything. As long as my boy is safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta protect all babies. Yeah. Except yours. I, we don't like yours. I, I would certainly deserve it, but it, it not attack you for one turn? Yeah, I'm asking for one turn of no attacksy me from each of you, and you guys can go after each other uh, before I possibly blow Mr. stuff up. Politics over here. Uh, you, have, will, you would have one turn for me, yeah, for sure. But we both have to say that we're not going to do that? Yeah. No, blow stuff up. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you know I have a Boreas Charger. I just want to get some lands and get back in the game. I, I, don't, even know, wanna, I don't even I know what wanna, Boreas Charger does. I just yeah. want to cast it's a, a Pegasus. Yeah. It's a it would Pegasus. let me search for planes when it died. But am I motivated to kill you? I don't think you are. I think he. I think he, I, he I, I is think the one he's I want just trying to, to get rid of me. I cast Memory Plunder on Skullstorm twice. So I'm, yeah, I'm need, beyond You're, you're the one that needs I'm, to Yeah, I'm beyond person, villainy at this point. You're the person so. who can best use the Kess if the Kess is gone. Like, you you want this around for one more turn. You mm -hmm. really want value from this. So wouldn't you love to just not attack me and get some Kess value for one turn? I do not promise to not attack you. Oh, <laughs> I might not, I still I, might not, but I'm not making a promise. Ah, oh, not even one turn. Yeah, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if that's the way it has to be, I'm going to tap five and cast Fell the Mighty. Destroy all creatures with power greater than target creatures' power. I will target <laughs> the baby. <laughs> all right. He's a safe boy. I can do nothing, yet it is destroyed. All right. That's all I got. All right. Babies I'll only. Untap. And in my upkeep, predict. Oh. I'm going to choose a card name. That card name is Forsaken Sanctuary. 
Uh, wow, and then random. <laughs> target player puts the top card of their library, me, into the graveyard. If that card has the chosen name, it does! What? Oh. I had to remember it for so long! <laughs> I <laughs> feel that. I draw two cards, otherwise I draw one. So I draw two cards. Wow, we. And then I draw for turn. Holy hmm. moly. That All right. Okay, okay. Well. okay. We know about okay. the Enigma space. Okay. Okay. Pretty okay. good. I am going to, once again, bring back the Enigma Sphinx. Oh boy. When I cast it, I cascade. So I will get an Orzhov Signet. Boom. Cool. And an Enigma Sphinx appears. Then, still in my first main, Loyal Subordinate. Mm. It has Menace, and it says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control your commander, each opponent loses three life. Oh boy. Oh wow, cool. Uh, uh. So I will go to combat. Uh -huh. Yeah. And each opponent will lose three life. I go to four. Because yeah. Because the baby remains. I'm down to three. Uh, I cannot attack this turn, but I can activate. I will pay four and look at the top card and put one back. Uh, then I will play a Demir Aqueduct and I will bounce this island. All right. That's my turn, I will pass. At the end of your turn, I'm going to crack my Terramorphic Expanse to go looking for a basic swamp that I looked for off camera to save time. Untap, draw for turn. You're a little guy. You're a little shapeshifter. <laughs> He's such a trooper. I'm glad he was there. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It would have been, been tough without him. <laughs> he made it all possible. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play a swamp for the turn. So this is gonna be a little weird, but the first thing I'm gonna do is go to combat and attack CGB with his shapeshifter. Oh. Yeah, uh, after Ugh. I spared its life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it got confused. Yeah. So then I'm gonna spend seven mana. Oh no. Three of which are black. No! For <laughs> another bar Necromantic selection. Because mm. I have to stop that Enigma Sphinx oh, from God. coming back. So it destroys our creatures, then return a creature card put into a graveyard this way to the battlefield under my control. Mm -hmm. It's a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Exile necromantic selection. Okay. But here's the thing. I want yeah. to just steal the Enigma Sphinx. I want to take it away from you. Yeah. But Amanatu's minus ability is, yeah. what is it? Exile a permanent you own oh. and, and then you get it back. Oh my god! So okay. I just, yeah. So yeah. what I'm going to do instead is when those are in your graveyard, Okay, so... With, with that, while that ability, while the Enigma Sphinxes go back to your okay, thing so ability Okay, so we destroy all creatures yeah. and then exile trigger on the stack. Uh, I'm gonna Rakdos Charm to exile your graveyard. There you oh, go! Man. Very good. So I think that means I don't even get a creature back. Are you required well, I assume to it's up to one. Destroy all creatures, then return a creature card put into a graveyard this way to the battlefield and under your control. I think you have you to. Have to. I think you have to choose. So you, you have, have to, to choose to. the loyal cool. subordinate. So everything's destroyed. Yeah. Uh, you reanimate the lo the loyal subordinate. Yeah. The Enigma Sphinx has a trigger on the stack, mm -hmm. and then the Rakdos Charm exiles my graveyard. Neat. Very good. Okay. Hey, that hey. Sphinx is gone. It's gone. Was the skull thing that keeps happening in there? Sure yes. was. Yeah. Skull storm is gone forever. The skull. Sky family. is clear. Yes. Finally. <laughs> we are out of storms. <laughs> so yeah, I do not control my commander. Ooh. So uh, just have, and it's not the beginning of combat. Loyal subordinate is very confused, um, but that's my turn. Go ahead. Okay. He, he's loyal, he has nothing but... to be loyal to. Yeah. Yeah. Or subordinate to. Mm -hmm. Untap. Draw. This is one of the weirdest plays I've ever made. Oh, I can't wait to see it. But two life leaves you, like you with weird. few options. Command tower, huge. N yeah, command tower, yeah. a classic. Um, It's a board wipe. Oh, <laughs> but oh my gosh. I'm board wiping the loyal. Yeah, you will die to the loyal apprentice it's when trigger, I get it back. It's trigger will kill me. Um, so <laughs> it, it can't be regenerated. Uh huh. I want that clear. And uh, I have threshold. So I'm going to actually make two spirits and behold, for the first time, I have more creatures than anybody else Aboard. in my creature deck. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Your turn. Would you like to wipe this board? <laughs> oh my god. I want to, sh I want I can't believe this is on top of my library. Oh no, what? It's a Oh my god. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Goodness. I just put it there. Oh my god. My spirits. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just shot these. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been over here just. Not just, not just <laughs> it's been in my hand the whole game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you are. You are casting Terminus. Yeah. For its miracle cost. Yeah. <laughs> because you just drew it. Yeah. So I have to put all creatures I control. Just me, because I'm the only one who has any. Yeah. My two life, my two spirit tokens that I paid six mana for. Yeah. On the bottom of my library. I'm sorry. No, you're good. It's, You're gone. I'm just, I'm sorry. You're just gone. I, I didn't remember it was there until you said, are you going to cast a board wipe? And I was like, oh no. Oh my God. I am. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, the board is once again clear of creatures. Great. Um, is that the best uh, terminus you've ever cast? No, it certainly isn't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Dream Cash. Um, I'm gonna draw three cards and then put two for my hand, uh, both on top of my library or both on the bottom of my library. So we're gonna see. Interesting. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I'm gonna put these two back on top of my library in that order. And then I'm gonna pay one, two, three, four, five, six, and once again try and put a lethal threat onto the battlefield. Oh sower no. It is a discord. sower of discord. When it enters the battlefield, choose two players. Whenever a damage is dealt to one of the chosen players, the other chosen player also loses that much life. Oh, that's a good card uh, to have right now. So you choose two sure players. Is. I wonder who you'll choose. I think it's me and Graham. Yeah. What? Well, because if for me to do any damage, I would die. Mm -hmm. If I deal four damage to Rachel, I die. Huh. Yeah. She is protecting herself. If you deal four damage to Rachel, I die. <laughs> I don't think I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm convinced this deck is not proficient in that particular. But I could blink it at thing. any time and switch what players it is oh my with goodness. my commander. You sure could, yeah. Would you like to do it now? No, probably oh. not now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tick the baby up and draw a card, and I am going to put this on top of my At least we know it's not that Sphinx again, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, pass. All right, <laughs> untap, draw. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Your flyers will kill my baby. Yeah. I have very little going on, honestly, so I'm gonna pay seven mana and Recast Inala Archmage Ritualist. All right, that'll make Skullstorm better. <laughs> um, go ahead. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll untap, draw. It's kind of not even fair that you can afford to cast your commander. It's kind of messed <laughs> up, I gotta be honest. <laughs> you couldn't even hard cast it right now, could you? Mm -mm. Nope. Let alone with attacks. Bummer. Bummer. <laughs> I, I'm rooting for you at this point, just because you're the underdog. Thanks. I feel bad for your spirits. Mm, I'm still mortified about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sick callback. I am going to cast a Boreas Charger. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will tap three for Verity Circle. Mm. So this is an enchantment that says whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, I may draw a card. No need. And for four and a blue, I can tap target creature without flying. All right, Rachel. I have a feeling it could be the end, but <laughs> I'm passing to you. You've got a flying blocker. Um, I will untap and draw for turn. Any miracles? Sure is. No. Oh. I will cast Retreat, uh, Entreat the Dead, return X target creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. No. Where the miracle cost is black, black X. Do you have any in your graveyard? I sure oh, do. Yeah. It's a loyal support The, the, the one that kills loyal. CGB. <laughs> yeah. Is it just from my graveyard? Yes. Yep. I only have one, so black, black X. I will return loyal subordinate from my graveyard to the battlefield. Oh boy. Then I will go to combat. Some miracles. <laughs> are not that great. Yeah. Uh, when I go at the beginning of my combat, I do control my baby commander, so all of my opponents lose three life. All right. It was uh, time. It was time. And then I will attack Graham with a 6 6 flyer. <laughs> no! Oh my God. <laughs> Four mana. Graham! For a kicked into the royal <laughs> to return Sower of Discord to your hand. Oh, oh my God. Fine. It, it will never end. Draw a card. <laughs> I 
Do I have two black sources? I do. I do. Oh, darn. We'll recast the oh Sower of Discord. Once again, it is me and Graham. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay a blue and a crack the Mind Stone draw card. I don't think there's any way I can <laughs> deal 15 uh, damage. Also, if I deal 15 damage, you don't we just both you die? Could, I could lose 15 life. Oh, OK. And there's the loophole. Uh, I will activate I mean, not to. I will draw a card, and I will put back this. That's all I got. I will pass. All right. Draw for turn. So <laughs> let's see how this is going to work. I'm going to play Exotic Orchard. Uh-huh. And I'm tapping nine mana in a moment for Clone Legion. Oh my god. <laughs> for each creature target player controls, create a co token that's a copy of that creature. This yeah. game is, sure. will never yeah. end. Okay. So I get my own <laughs> little subordinate and my own sower uh -huh. of Discord also naming us. Yeah, yeah. Has um, to be. This is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> you want to attack me? <laughs> do don't, you? Don't, no. Don't do you? <laughs> no, but I move to combat and yeah. you lose three life. I sure do. That you go to 12. Because sower specifies damage, that does not trigger our sowers. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, and yeah, I can't I can't uh, do anything else, so I, I pass the turn back. I will untap. I will draw for turn. Mm -hmm. And I will move to combat? Yeah. And drain you of your I life? Lose three life. I can't, we can't even go to combat. <laughs> yep, that's the game. There it is. <laughs> very oh my good. Very good. Good. Good, good game. Very good. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. <laughs> oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Boy. <laughs> what wow. a crazy game. <laughs> Too many skulls. Yeah. <laughs> the skulls really hurt. Yeah. I have a headache, and I think it's related to a skull. So all the skulls yeah, yeah. smashing you yeah. in the face. That's what I'm calling a headache from now on. Oh, and I drew another tiny board wipe. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the? This deck is full of them. I don't know what's going on. Something about a Planeswalker commander. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh boy, thanks everybody for joining us on Elder Dragon Social Club. This has been an absolute blast of a game. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. A reminder, of course, the show is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Please visit cardkingdom.com slash E-D-S-C. Uh, also, you can check out our store at store.loadingreadyrun.com. And as always, everything that we do is brought to you by you and your kind of support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. So thanks to Rachel. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. And CGB. You're cool. And Tarmacat. Thank you. And thanks also everybody who was off camera. Serge was judging, Kathleen was directing, Paul and James were both here on tech. Heather gets these online. Matt does the Herculean task of doing the edit. Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.